Farmer Sham here. This is how we do Hindu funeral ritual for our uncle Mamudado. Farmer Sham in the house, right? Farmer Sham in the house. So who do we have? Famous Sam. Famous Cooper. You get Cooper Cooper Rice. Ooh. No, it's Book Live. Just like, just like I'm gonna sing. No, he's a big influencer on Facebook.
There's two directions and a soul that go to the southern gate going to the lowest species. So we have privilege indeed to perform short karm for a person who died. And the greatest opportunity we have, that is why up to this day in Kalyugage, we are doing Shrad Karm. Not only doing it, but you must be able to know what you are doing. Each and every portion of the Shrad be able to consecrate the own mantras and prayers. For instance, we building the body again for the soul. And we be able to start it from now, today. And uh, you all will hear from me as we continue to read every night at the home. I expound from each text very significantly that you can really understand. Every one of us the same route you are going back to. chalo <laughs> kobadama chalo. 
Last time I was out. Pass it to house the... Pull 
You gotta hold the sheet. Hold the sheet. Everybody got a hole. Everybody want a hole so you can come you. Everybody want a hole so you can come forward. Everybody want to come or you can just take a hole. Hold on, hold on, he's going to bring it.
<laughs> so who is the who is the oldest now? I can't let me out. Mom, but is the oldest now? But I'm the picture. Aha. You're the third one. Who's next? You're next. Who's next after that? You're next. Who's next? Who's next? Mookie. And the baby. Who's the baby? <laughs> the baby look like he got more gray hair than all the rest though. <laughs> a stress. So we're wishing you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. And how young are you going to be? March 20. How young? How young are you? 65. And you look like you're there far, the five. <laughs> Who do they need to subscribe to? Farmer Sham. Yeah, organic egg. Get you the bitch a cup, cup, cup of pay, cup of pay. Watch hey. Are you guys say farmer sham? They the going thing is, huh? Big up farm. Ah, that one. Hold him, let me like see the face. Turn him. No, I'm not seeing him like that. Hold him, turn him around. Yeah. Hold him out. Oh, what? He jump out from you there. And the man wears sunshade. Are you really a guest fishing style, right? Wipe your hand. Two big hats, that too. Let me see. Put the, put the face on. <laughs> Tell the body that you cook has a curry in it. Has a curry and tilapia curry. Today you cook them, right? Yeah. And you like you keep the head? Yeah. Life is like a puzzle because every day is a new day. When someone has it, was supposed to you, it seems as if you're missing a piece of the puzzle. As we're gathered here today, we can say that many of us feel like there's a piece of our puzzle missing. Today, we're all gathered here to say goodbye and remember the wonderful life of Lachlan Valdeling, also known as Dad, or Samson. The eldest son of the late Silal Valdeling, also known as Valdesun, and the late eight Rajputik. He was the grandson of the late Kirchen of Tibu, the grandson and grandson of the late Mona Al, um, from Timuli village. Sorry, excuse me if I don't pronounce the, um, the names properly. He was the son-in-law of the late Mangri and Shumadat. Uncle Dad was born on March 26, 1955. He grew up in Dibu, Jamaica. Many people know him um, from running the or managing the Bogusun Spirit Shop. He was also known for his love of cooking. As a youngster, Uncle Dad was very athletic. He used to be a runner and compete in long races where he won several prizes. For example, last night his brother said he won a cricket ball and because he liked cricket balls, he gave it to him. We can't forget his car, the bug, a small white two-door Kirby. For those of you who don't know, that's a Volkswagen Beetle. That car was the jack of all trades. It carried the entire family. The family would cap things in the car like starting with a can. There was one time he was transporting the kids, pigs, and coconuts. The car door, the car door flew open, and the pigs jumped out. He went and dropped the kids home, and went back for the pigs and the coconuts. Fast forward 27 years, Uncle Dado met the love of his life, Uncle Jane, through Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam paved the road for love by showing Uncle Dado the young woman dressed in the red sari. And he instantly fell in love with that picture. They had a they had an arranged marriage, and they had two beautiful children. The late Lanka Baldwin, also known as Robin, and Amy Baldwin and Miss Chen. They lived in Guyana and then migrated to New York City on April 27, 1995, with all the majority of his siblings and in-laws, nieces and nephews. Uncle Dad leaves behind his wife, Jean, of 42 years. His daughter, Jen, her husband, Nash, and her two children, Riley and Mia. He leaves behind his four sisters, 
Auntie Tita, Auntie Chami, Auntie Jumpy, and Auntie Katie. And we need such more brothers and sisters. Uncle Papa, Uncle Buddy, my dad, Uncle Paige, and Uncle Dale. Many nieces and nephews. If we had to name them all, we'd be here until tomorrow. So there's 21 to be exact. He's been having his cousins, his aunts, his uncles, his brother in laws, sister in laws, friends, and all of his in laws. There's too many, like they said, to name. We're we'll running out of time. He will be reuniting with his late father, mother, his son, his younger brother, his in laws, his late cousins, and all the deceased friends and families who he has touched upon throughout his life. Hello, everybody. My name is Yuki. Um, okay. Anyone who knows Ramadada knows he loved his wife, his kids, he worshipped his grandkids, and loved to cook. He woke up at the crack of dawn to make sure he would have his specialty meals prepared and ready for Robin and Jen. And he would even deliver them to their room. He was the biggest supporter of his daughter's education and career. He used to wake up early on the weekends make Jen breakfast, and then drive her to work. He was the biggest advocate for his son's love of cars. Imagine, Robin had two cars that he didn't drive. He grew to love his son-in-law, Nash. They became like two peas in a pod. They made the basement their man cave and bonded there for hours and hours. They watched hours on YouTube, especially Farmer Shannon, and would even knock a team. Uncle Dado and Nash developed a bond like father and son. Uncle Dado was such a great man, and not only was he a father to Robin and Jen, but he was a father to all of his nieces and nephews. In his lifetime, he took the father home as he stood beside Sister Shelley, Buddy Dave, and Buddy Rod when they got married. He played the role of father to Nadi and continued the role after he lost his brother-in-law, John. We can't leave out his neighbors of 25 years, Sita and Elvis, and their children who became his family. He loved fishing, especially catching Hassa and tilapia in Florida. He also loved gathering. He was a very lucky man. He won the most scratch-offs than anyone we knew. We can't forget the time he won the $10,000 and secretly bought a white cargo van. He was a self-made chef in his love for creating different dishes, especially his unique centerpieces. He loved to work and was a dedicated team member of his career. He retired after 21 years. We can't forget his love for his grandchildren. They used to play dress up and tea time. We can't leave out how Riley, I'm sorry, we can't leave out how Riley and Mia used to paint his nails, and he would go to his doctor's appointment with well-polished pink nails. He'd allow them to practice their makeup skills on him. Sometimes you would look at him, and he was all dolled up with sparkling eyeshadow. We can keep going on and on, but we are running out of time. On February 25th, 2024, Lord Shiva decided he needed him more than we do. On behalf of Auntie Jean, Jen, and her family, we'd like to thank all of you for being here. Uncle Dado was 68 years old and full of love, joy, laughter, and was very outgoing and social. You have all touched Uncle Dado's life somehow, and I know he is smiling down and grateful that you are here, not only to say your final goodbyes, but to celebrate the life that you have. So thank you. After the viewing tonight, the wake will take...
दे सुना है और किसी को मर जाना है Oh, <laughs> my